Well, getting into our Tuesday, a winter weather advisory will be in effect. We'll have a chance for some icing off to the south of Interstate 80 with some snow off to the north. And as far as things go with that wintry mix, uh, during the morning hours, snow will move into areas north of Interstate 80 and an icy mix sets up south of Interstate 80. Although at this point, the onset of that morning ice still uh, a little bit uncertain. The rain should try to move north during the afternoon as temperatures try to warm above 32 as we get into of the evening still snowing along Highway 20. These are the areas north of Highway 30 that through this system will pick up the most snow because it looks like it's going to be all snow throughout the uh, duration of this event and still south of say Highway 30 even along Highway 30 uh, more likely to be rain or a little bit of freezing rain or sleet and then overnight everything turns over to snow. Now as far as the timing of the system is concerned through the morning hours you'll have to pay close attention to those roads and what's actually falling if anything is because because uh, the ride into work could be a little bit icy, but if we can delay things toward uh, noon, looks like the uh, ride in in the morning won't be so bad. But during the afternoon, you can see anything from snow north to rain and a bit of an ice mix off to the south of Highway 30. Uh, when we get this system out of here, it's still going to lay down some snow into Tuesday night. So overnight uh, uh, areas off to the north and west pick up the most snow and off to the south a lot less. Just one to two here in the Metro Quad Cities, if that a trace south. South. But again, some areas north of Highway 30 could pick up two to five inches or more. 34 uh, would be our Tuesday high. And again, if we can get temperatures there and hold them above freezing for a while, that will really cut down on the icing problems. But again, snow to the north and it's going to be windy too. Southeast winds gusting to around 25 miles per hour. Then we really get cold. Here's a look at Friday morning wind chills anywhere between about minus 15 to minus 30 for much of the area. 22 on Wednesday, 20 on Thursday, Friday, a high of only four degrees as we really get in that cold air and that'll start daily chance of snow Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday of next week.